I'm Andrew, Lit I'm Andrew Litikin, and I'm going to be talking about finding and outlining similarity at the IR level. We all write similar code, whether we intend to or not, whether it's copy-pasted code or rewriting the same section but just changing the variables around. But what about code like this? These aren't really the same, are they? Well, they sort of are. It is a, a loop, and the statement in the conditional is true when the variable it or variable, variable x is a 1. So there's something deeper here. So let's use the compiler to peel off the upper layer and look at the underlying LLVM IR code. It turns out the calculation inside the conditional generates the same IR code, and you didn't even mean to do that. It turns out these sorts of similarities are quite common. In the LLVM test suite, if we could deduplicate these similarities, we would reduce our instruction count profile by 3.8% on average. It would be great if we were able to work with these structural rather than identical similarities, where we perform the same set of operations on a given set of inputs. I've been working on a framework for finding these similarities at the IR level. It accepts a module and outputs the regions of similarity, and then exposes them to the rest of the compiler through a new pass. I've also developed two different applications for leveraging this new framework. So, how do we find similarity? Well, it starts with the instructions. Rather than looking at the values of the operands, we look at instructions opcode, instruction type, operand types, and extra parameters to create an unsigned integer representing that instruction. This lets us represent the entire program as a string of unsigned integers that can be passed to the suffix tree, which is the data structure that can find repeated substrings in on time, making it a great tool for finding similar sections of the program. If you want a more detailed explanation on how the suffix tree works, Jessica Paquette has a short explainer in her talk about machine outlining in 2016. Now that we have the repeated substrings, it doesn't mean they're performing the same operation. We need to be able to create a one-to-one -one mapping of the registers from one set of instructions to the other. In this case, from register C to register A and register D to register C. Once we've determined that candidates are similar to one another, we can group them by their structure. And these are the outputs of the IR similarity identifier. This is an algorithm with very discrete steps. We could replace any one of these steps with a more sophisticated similarity matching algorithm, allowing for more benefits than for any application that is utilizing the framework. Additionally, we can see how there's potential to generalize this model. The instruction can become just some unit that can be serialized into a list to be analyzed by the suffix tree, allowing us to find similarity at many different levels of the compiler. So let's move into applications. The first is a visualizer for similarity in a module. It accepts the similarity and then outputs a similarity report. In this case, we have the program on the left with the similarity groups highlighted in blue and gold and the corresponding JSON file on the right with an entry for each similarity group. With this JSON and some debug information, we can create a visualizer for similarity in IR code and source code so we, since we can link it back to the source. This sort of strategy could help assist programmers in refactoring efforts and help maintain a clean code base. Now, looking at the code can only get us so far. So the second application is an IR outliner, which allows for code size reduction at the IR level that can be redeployed to any target. It accepts the similarity groups from the IR, similar, IR similar, similarity analysis paths and outputs code that has deduplicated these similar regions of code. In short, the outliner determines that the benefit of outlining these regions in a similarity group outweighs the cost of creating a new function containing that region of code. And then if it does, it extracts each section into its own function and consolidates them into one function, replacing those regions. More detailed implementation details can be found on the mailing list and this is currently in review. With our initial implementation of the IR liner, we get 1% reduction on average of the LLVM test suite with getting gains of up to 60% in certain micro benchmarks and 1.3 reduction in CT mark. Looking at CT mark a little bit closer, we can see that we get up to a 5% reduction in consumer typeset with a few reductions due to underestimates of the number of needed instructions with our current cost model. So you might be asking, why don't we just use the machine outliner? Well, like we discussed before, outlining at the IR level finds gains for any target, where we need target-specific implementations for the IR machine outliner. Additionally, this new method finds a structural similarity over the exact same instruction similarity needed by the machine outliner, finding different opportunities for code size reduction. So you might also be wondering how this compares to the IR outliner proposed in 2017. In short, these two implementations are not that different. However, it is backed by this more, however, this new IR outliner is backed by the more accessible similarity framework. In the future, we hope that this framework can be expanded upon to become a more general similarity detector throughout the compiler to leverage the similarity to inform better code generation and size reduction decisions. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions.